In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into time format. I have one employee in my company and I use this table to track the hours worked and any other time that he does. In column A, I have the days of the week. In column B, we track the time arrived. In column C, we track the time he left. And then columns D and E, we're going to have formulas to calculate how many hours he worked and how much over time he did. So he's pretty punctual and he always arrives at 8 a.m. And let's say Monday he left at 9 p.m. And see the way I'm typing this with no formatting? Once I press return, the spreadsheet formats the time for me. Tuesday 10 p.m. Wednesday 9, Thursday, Friday he worked until 11, and here he worked until 8. Okay, the way we have the format here is on a 12 hour notation, which is the way it's used in the US. So it's 8 a.m., 9 a.m., so on, and then it's 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. In Europe, normally we are going to see the time as, so this is going to be 8 a.m. and then 8 p.m. is going to be 20. And this is fine, you can type it this way, but if you look at the formula bar, I have the cell selected, it's still showing me on a 12 hours notation, so 8 a.m. and if I click on the 20, I still see it and see I'm, I'm here with my cursor, this is 8 p.m. If you need to change that, the way to change it is on your locale settings. So you have to come to File, Spreadsheet Settings, and then we're going to have to change the locale. So say I change it, I have it to the US now. If I change it to the UK and save Settings, now let's click on the 20. Now I'm seeing it on a 24 hour notation. So it's up to you to decide which format you prefer. If you have your spreadsheet set to the US, you are going to have it on a 12 hour notation. So I'm going to revert back to the US, File, Spreadsheet Settings, United States. I'll save my settings, okay. Now you can edit these numbers either through format or to the one, two, three more formats. So if you go to format, you click on format, number, more formats, more date and time formats. And this will open you the, the menu. You can get to exactly the same menu by coming to one, two, three, more formats, more date and time formats. One thing that you can edit here is the number of leading zeros. So you can either keep one or you can reduce it. So in this case, I reduced it. Let me select all of the numbers and let's see the way it looks. One, two, three, more formats, more date and time formats. Let's keep both hour without leading zero and minute without leading zero, apply and it has removed our leading zeros. Now I think it looks better with the zeros, so I still have everything selected. I'm coming to one, two, three more formats, more date and time formats, and I'm just going to bring the leading zeros back, both for, for hour and for minute. Apply, and that's my time. Now we need to calculate the hours worked for each day. So it's very simple, equals time left minus time arrived. Press return, and this is not what I was looking for. So we have to play around with the formatting here. I'm coming to more formats, and I'm gonna change from automatic to plain text. And the spreadsheet has returned me a fraction. The reason the spreadsheet has returned me a fraction is because it's showing me the number as a fraction of 24 hours. So what I need to do here 
I'm gonna need to add a parenthesis because I need this subtraction to happen first. And I'm going to multiply this number by 24 because there are 24 hours on a day. I'm gonna drag the formula down. And now I know how many hours my employee has worked each day. We have if statements here on column E telling us how many hours are extra time based on a nine hours day, eight hours of work, one hour of break. And we're gonna look into the if statements on one of our next tutorials.